going on guys? We are heading to the caravan and camping show today, which means that's like two shows in two weeks, but we don't mind. It's good fun and it's not too far away from us. It's in Birmingham at the NEC and we're based about an hour and 20 minutes away from there. So it's good from our perspective and we're looking forward to checking out all the cool vans and gadgets that are usually at the shows. Not a sponsorship, but if you'd like to sponsor this vlog, please get in touch. Basically, I could buy any van I wanted if I didn't buy this every day. This stuff's killing me. <laughs> Financially. <laughs> Financially ruining me. It's like 250 a bottle. I have like two a day, maybe. No, you don't. <laughs> the truth comes out. <laughs> what is going on? I'm addicted. <laughs> I'm addicted, yeah, so go. please, naked, if you want to sponsor me, I'll happily get naked <laughs> to, uh, yeah, get a year's supply of these. Everyone's vans are like super shiny. We turn up with like a white van that doesn't even look white anymore. <laughs> <laughs> But yeah, that's our style, you know, stealth. Exactly. <laughs> Blend into the bushes. Good size, isn't it? You could definitely live in something like this. Look at the bed. A day to lie on it. A day. <laughs> oh my my man, this bathroom is huge. Toilet, no way. So, are you settling in well to your new home? I really like it. Like, it's amazing, yeah. it's bigger than our boat. Yeah, like, it's the height. You know, with the height, it's like, it feels more roomy. Uh, I like how the bed is like, tucked away in the corner. Like, it they're missing snug. a trick though. I think above <laughs> the bed, there should be a a skylight or something. Well, there is a window there. Yeah, I know, but the skylight of the bed. So cool. Really nice. And storage under there. <laughs> Layout though. Yeah, that's oh my god! Uh, that's interesting. Dedicating so much space to the toilet. That is mad. I've never seen an actual toilet cubicle in a room this small. Yeah, bed will be here. It's mad. It feels way bigger than it comes out. Oh, so water tank. Water. Water. I think this must be bed. But judging by the way that is. Uh, no, 50 grand. 50 grand? What is going on here? Are these bunks? I really like that. <laughs> it's like a coffin. That is cool. Nothing more 
nicer than sleeping in the coffin. No, but it's going to be cosy, isn't it? <laughs> I think your head goes at that yeah, end. Obviously. It's nice. I really like the bunker. Like, if you've got kids, like, these are amazing. Or if you've not got kids and you just want to sleep separately from your partner, then it's great as well. Just made eye contact with the guy <laughs> through, the, through the gap. <laughs> If you got a toilet that's in a T5 and a whole like room dedicated to it, where the hell are my knees gonna go? You know, like, I just don't understand like why you you'd need. need. Yeah, it's just like there's gonna be no space whatsoever. I'd rather spend that space, kind of, you know, you don't spend all your time in a toilet, so I'd rather yeah. use that space for the living area or True. you know the chill out area. So this is another interesting layout that I've never seen. everyone think about beds singular taking up the front and going all the way along you can also with this one have the bed in the roof what do you think nah. I think it's weird they just dedicate too much space to like the stuff that you're not gonna oh, spend enough time doing yeah like the whole yeah, back kitchen yeah it's like I'd, you know it seems pointless that's a different layout. It is, yeah, it just feels room. very cramped. It's door, nice door, to stand up yeah. though. And yeah. this view so that's cool. is cool. You see the, um... That's clever. Cool. It, it totally comes out. I quite like that. Yeah, it doesn't clean. Nice. Yeah, I'd like, to, I'm tempted to do this to our van, what do you think? If you want us to get a hard top on the top of the <laughs> van, put it in the comments and let us know what you think like we'd love to get a hard top but it's just the expense like I think it's probably looking at about three grand to get it done so being able to stand but being able to stand up all the time would be good yeah and it would still be kind of incognito it's not like a, a, um, a pop top which can be dependent on weather this is the one this is I a nice really layout. want to look in And it's got a bed at the top. But yeah, I really I, like the idea of being able to like sleep upstairs. Yeah, in the pop because top. then one of us can get up in the morning and just like stay down below. Exactly. Yeah. Nah, this this layout's nice. But what I've noticed is a lot of the T5s, they're kind of trying to innovate and kind of try and change stuff that doesn't need changing. You know, you don't need. It's not broken. The layout, the T5 layout, is very simple, but it works. You know like our van it just does the job so it's probably best not to change stuff just kind of improve on what's already there the like, layout's fine like dedicating the whole back of the van exactly to a like toilet. putting a whole toilet block in a in a t5 is just ridiculous so yeah like, I, I don't really know and I, and I feel like they they the companies who are making these feel like they have to keep adapting and changing stuff and trying to make it more exciting but for me it's not broken so don't try and fix it and also because people are concerned with going to the toilet yeah yeah they are they're meeting that demand but yeah. they're doing it in a way that just seems a bit crazy i think like can you just is there a toilet under there i bet there is there we go that makes way more sense having yeah. that there so and there's dedicating your the whole back exactly you don't spend all your time on the toilet so <laughs> you know you might as well just have more space lounging around and being in the and uh, dedicating the side area i really like this layout i'm curious ah this this comes out comes yeah. out here we go let's open it oh that's oh, really nice that is so clever see that is how you want to uh kind of evolve and originate the layout that's really clever that is clever and it's got an oven it's like an oven grill that is very clever what see, a clever use of space see this makes you've got everything you need bar a shower the only thing you don't have and just is a by shower. adding this one little section here which doesn't take up much space creates a whole nother level 
to the van uh, and more space. It's really good. I like it. And it's got two rings. It's got a sink. It has hot and cold. It's got a little bit of storage up here. It's got storage there. It's got storage in the back. Just everything about this van's really plugs. nice. It's got a nice amount of windows, acoustic carping. Oh, there's just so much storage. It's so cleverly done. And the height as well. Just. It's got this pop top, which can also be a bed. Up. And both the front chairs turn round. I like that. Theo's figuring out how the hell you. I don't want to break it. <laughs> but yeah, it's nice to be able to stand up and look out. Also, these LED lights yeah, above here the are really nice. Is really nicely yeah. done. This van, I wonder how much it is. What are you saying? It's a hundred years old. 95 years old, one of the first trailer caravans. Oh <laughs> I didn't realise how dirty the van was. I think she needs a wash. That might start people drawing other things on her though. Yeah, I don't think that's a good idea. Oh well, it's too late now, <laughs> I can't reverse time. Thank you. So that's it, the show's wrapped up. Really enjoyed it and we are now on our way to pick up the prints that you guys have been buying off our shop. So thank you to everybody who's brought a print. I'm really excited to send them out to you guys and uh, see what you think. So we just picked up the prints. Just gonna have a look, see what they look like. Oh, they look really good. Really pleased with how that's come out. So, the two sizes we offer on the website, we got a medium and a large, so you can see the sizes there. And yeah, so we just gotta go and get some packaging now. We also got a really nice stamp so we can stamp the packaging and then we can send them off tomorrow morning. So overall, we've had a great day today. The show was brilliant. We got the prints and uh, thanks for supporting us and thanks for watching. Thanks for watching, subscribe now and if you like the video give us a thumbs up.